that's again a very dramatic story. And to make it short, these signals will first um, stimulate, activate the immune system. It tries to fight the electromagnetic signals as if they were like uh, pollen or a nickel or some other well-known allergy. Uh, but after some time, the immune system doesn't uh, have the capacity any longer. It deteriorates and starts to kind of leak. Uh, and uh, then you have dramatic shifts in the cellular compositions and reactions, as has been demonstrated also in tomato plants that were subjected to base station signals, pretty low signals, and they reacted with a damaged sequence involving the molecule calmodulin, which is also used in, in animals. Uh, so it points to that um, maybe all these fantastic television programs, radio programs, cell phone calls, text messages and so on, maybe they have a backside which is not that bright. Yeah. And so is, does that mean that we're more, that means we're more susceptible to these things because of the exposure we've had it is not we're more susceptible when we have the exposure right now. No, uh, exactly as you say, and but it could be a combination of both. Uh, maybe we were uh, then um, uh, sort of stimulated by the previous uh, radio signals and so on, and maybe we could cope with that. And but then we add more and more and more energy, and it shouldn't be forgotten, you know that. For instance, if we talk about the third generation mobile telephony only, we do not talk about anything else. Uh, the increase in that type of signal strength over the last 25 years is a staggering quintillion times. That's a one with 18 zeros. Uh, and since it's very artificial, from a mathematical point of view, you can even argue that it's an infinite increase because the very same type of polarized and modulated pulse signals have never been around on this planet. So maybe, for instance, our skin uh, doesn't have any protective capacity whatsoever. And if it doesn't, then of course, that explains all the findings in animals who also has uh, different forms of skins and in plants that would have a bark, a corresponding uh, plant type skin. And uh, maybe they leak completely because they cannot recognize and stop these signals and so it, it has opened up an extremely interesting area of research and I've been very honored to be part of it from the very beginning and but as I said before it all started by a mistake <laughs>